picture, it's hard to overstate the significance of Friday's decision by the Supreme Court. Quite simply, it is the most important judgment to come out of this building since they handed the 2020 presidential election to George W. Bush over Al Gore. We need more of our elected officials. Ghazal Raman Panna is an activist and campaigner who says the court's decision is going to change politics yeah, profoundly. The sentiment I hear a lot is that uh, this was a right that was afforded to my mother that is now being taken away from me or from my child. Um, so we're going backwards. I think people are surprised, they're shocked, and it's not what they want. Um, and so if we don't act, then we're not supporting the will of the people. Opinion polls consistently show around 60% of Americans think that abortion should be legal in all or almost all circumstances. And so there are plenty of Democrats who think this is just the issue that President Biden needs to rescue his disastrous approval ratings. And President Biden appears to be one of them. This fall, Roe is on the ballot. Personal freedoms are on the ballot. The right to privacy. Liberty, equality, they're all on the ballot. But guess what? The man who Joe Biden beat also thinks this could be a vote winner for him. He's keen to take credit for shifting the Supreme Court. I promised to nominate judges and justices who would stand up for the original meaning of the Constitution and who would honestly and faithfully interpret the law as written. Opposition to overturning Roe v. Wade has settled rather on the nature of this body, the Supreme Court. Does it, some wonder, have the legitimacy to make such pronouncements that affect so many Americans? This court has lost legitimacy. They have burned whatever legitimacy they may still have had. We believe that in order to restore balance in our society, in our government, in bringing back the will of the people to the people, the power to the people, uh, we need to expand our Supreme Court. We need to have 13 um, justices to kind of balance out what we have right now, which is very right-winged, and it's not um, aligned with what the people actually want. Um, and what's to stop the Republicans coming in uh, at a future date, a Republican president saying 13 isn't good enough, we need 18, 19. To, to... You know, I, I think we don't really want to work in those hypotheticals. What we're focused on right now is what actually is like a viable option. Right now, the Supreme Court is locked down. Police seem tense. Too bad it's illegal now. It's illegal now. As in America, there are plenty of arguments, but few minds being changed.